Welcome to the vlog. I just made the most delicious tofu. It was gonna go on a salad, but I've just been eating it out of the Tupperware at the moment. And my Spotify wrapped is here. Let's go through it while I make the salad. Oh, I explored 43 different genres. My number one genre is indie pop. Second, rap, then pop, indie rock, then indie garage rock. So basically indie, slay. You seize the day with soothing French cafe and cottage core. If that's not a fucking vibe, my total play time was 19,469 minutes. That's more than 71% of other listeners listeners in the United States. I could have done better. Listen, a Spotify rap is basically like my report card at the end of the year. I don't know why there's so much Jack Harlow on here. I do like Jack Harlow, but I'm not like a Jack Harlow stan. Top 10% of Drake listeners this year. What's my listening personality? The Adventurer. That checks out. I've been getting these little mixed salads from Aldi and then just using them to top my other greens with. Throw it on top and it only takes two seconds. Like I don't have to worry about pulling everything out of my cabinet. I'm literally about to devour this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Today, I do have to get some work done, so I will be filming, possibly going on live, maybe some editing, and then, of course, just like the daily stuff, emails, posting on my platforms, and then like real life stuff. I'd like to hopefully get some laundry done, and then I'm super excited for dinner because I'm making this salmon with lemon beurre blanc sauce, and then hopefully winding down with some Wednesday on Netflix. Mason is busy all day today, so I thought it would be a good day to vlog too, because I try not to vlog too much when Mason and I have time together, because I don't really feel like I'm being present in the moment if I'm trying to vlog with another person. I also really want to try this new hairstyle today that I've had in mind. Okay, I have to execute this hairstyle. I put up a little bun and then I put a scrunchie on top of it. So I have like a normal hair tie to keep it super tight. And then I did a scrunchie around it just to make it a little bit bigger. Because you guys know my hair is super thin. And then I'm taking my Luxie ponytail. This was like the ash brown to blonde balayage. But I dyed it. So I'm just going to pop this bad boy in. I'll be sure to link the ponytail down below for you guys. Don't worry. And then... I want to use this little hair waver. I'll do the front pieces first, but then I want to do the whole ponytail and I feel like it'll be such a vibe. I'll link this hair waver down below for you guys and like every product I'm using. I will also link this sweater because I feel like it is the perfect. And then I'm just gonna do random sections back here. I feel like I've been getting so much work done in the past few days. Like two days ago, I literally filmed like 12 TikToks and I checked my flow app to see where I was at my cycles and I'm in my luteal phase. So that checks out. By the way, if you're a woman and you're not cycle syncing, what the fuck are you doing? It is such a life hack. With the way our bodies are set up, we have a 21 day cycle or 28 day cycle, whereas men have a 24 hour cycle. That means that men can wake up every single day and pretty much feel the same way throughout the day. Whereas women, it takes us a full blown month to cycle through everything. And different phases are good for different things. Like when you're in your follicular stage, that's when you're more social. When you're ovulating, that's when you feel more sexy, more alluring. When you're in your luteal phase, which is where I'm at right now, that's when you wanna like check things off of your to-do list, like get shit done. And then your menstrual phase, we all know that's when you have no energy and you just kind of want to relax. So since my cycles are so consistent, which is funny, I feel like my cycles got more consistent after I started paying attention to them. That can't be a coincidence. Now that I know exactly when my period's coming, it's nice because I can anticipate it and I can make sure that I have all of my big tasks out of the way so I don't feel like I have to exert a bunch of energy that week. And that week is next week. So this week, it's go time. Because women's bodies aren't supposed to be productive 24 seven, I feel like batching content is so lovely. Cause like I said, you can just anticipate those times when you don't have a lot of energy and take advantage of the times when you do. This is looking so cute, oh my God. Can you guys believe it's December? It's crazy. Actually, as I'm filming this, it's November 30th, but I'm mentally in December. I already have all my Christmas decor up. I'll show you guys later. Speaking of the holidays, I do have a bunch of gift guides. So if you guys are having a hard time figuring out what to get people, or if you don't know what to put on your own wish list, I will leave a link to every single gift guide that I've made so far down below. But of course, you guys know you can always go to my like to know it. It's the same username as everywhere else, Lexi Luxury, and you'll see my new gift guides there. I was watching this TikTok the other day. I think it was the legal baddie or whatever her name is. I'll, I'll leave her name here. She was talking about how it girls or whatever 
we're grinding now like we're not waiting till january 1st like we've already got our ideas planned out our goals are set like we're already like making moves and it's funny because i feel like i always treat halloween like it's kind of like a new year for me i feel like i always subconsciously set new goals right before november and then i just start like freaking going for it and it's not an energy that feels like i have to rush before the real end of the year comes it's an energy that feels like okay i'm clear on my goals now and now i can just have laser focus on them oh my gosh this is so cute this is exactly what i wanted and more let's do some makeup well this is as good as it's getting it's not too bad if you ask me I need to go film now, and it's literally 3.43 p.m. Do you want to be my be real? Cute. It is 6.18, and I so badly want to be done working, but I promised myself I would film five TikToks. So far, I've filmed three, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but the TikToks that I was just filming had a lot to go into them. I've also been getting really distracted in between, and I feel like it's because... I started my day by looking at my notifications on my phone, and I never do that. But today, even as I was doing it, I was like, girl, don't do it. But I didn't listen to myself, and I started scrolling my notifications in the morning. And I feel like when I start my morning by looking at my phone, and I don't start my morning with, like, my normal morning routine, and then look at my phone, the rest of the day seems like I'm a little bit out of focus. It's hard for me to get motivated. Also, my period is coming, but... Okay, let's see. I did a video on... Okay, I think the last two videos I do can be my gift guides, so that should be pretty easy. I just need to make sure I have the photo saved for the green screen. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer and see if I can finish in the next, like, 15 minutes. All right, let's do this. Woo! Okay, I'm done! It took a little bit longer than I expected, but not that much longer. It's only 6.45. Film five TikToks, done! I was gonna go on TikTok Live tonight, but ugh, I'm just not feeling that. So obviously I went live on TikTok anyways, um, and I'm glad that I did. I haven't been on live in so long. It, I feel like it's really easy to talk yourself out of going live, but then once you do, it's always fun. And it's such a better way for me to connect with you guys. Like I feel like I actually get to talk and like hang out. Like it feels like I'm hanging out with you. And I love that shit. You guys are low key way cooler than my friends in real life. Don't tell them I said that. I unboxed all of my PR. Do you see all of these products down here? There's so much. I had a box from L'Oreal. We had a Prada Beauty PR box. I've never had a Prada perfume before. That was pretty cool. Got a bunch of hair care. Milk Makeup sent me a PR package. Oh, and I got these cute clothes. I'll show you guys. I got these cute sweatshorts from Identify Clothing and this cute, 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 cute t-shirt. This is my favorite thing that I got. Can you even see that? I'm trying not to get this in the shadow. It says Mental Health Club on it. It's so freaking cute. And now I have all of these boxes. So <laughs> I'm going to clean up my room real quick and then I'm going to smoke, to be completely honest with you. And then hopefully I'll have an appetite and we can go ahead and make dinner. Let's get it. This is the recipe that I'm following. I'll link it down below for you guys. But it's this 
like walnut savory sweet potato casserole and there's like rosemary on top it looks really fucking good oh you need the money every night every day my theory is that every song that has a part two is immediately elite. Check it out. 